will I do without her? Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. A mooncalf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnif. How kind. If only all of Wizard Kind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue them. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a porky that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Poachers. God, if was right then, I'd better be careful. Bombarda. Rebellion. Alohomora. Which one of you is Biscuit? Revelio. It's getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Revelio. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Levioso. Rebellion. No, you don't. Levioso!
Rebellion. All right, this kid. Let's get you back to Golnif, shall we? Garnef, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Oh, biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Thank you. 
sure to stop by whenever you're about. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and locked her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more... Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Brilliant idea. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons.
sick, wondering what happened to her egg. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. I wonder how many they brought. <sighs> At least ten, usually. The brick? Fantastic. Revelio. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grapple. Or just raring for a fight. She listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Get to that opening below.
the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair it. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. We wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. We are back. I'm ready, ready if you are. I, I am. After our dragon rescue of Hunter Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Off on another adventure, are we? Hasn't been anyone as bad as Barnabas as ever. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. How can I help you? What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time?
won't get away with that. Aha! There you are! Are you sure you're not a muggle? Ranrock has fooled you all, to your demise. soon. Oh. oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. I'm safe to explore in there. Revelio. Can bring it. Revelio. Can bring it. Rebellion. Confringo. Malin himself will be. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned, 
I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Revelio. Now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, the spiders aren't insects. Don't stop. Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Sleep better tonight. Depulsor. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Accio! Boat outside is Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. Accio!
What did you find? Rebellion. Accio, King Fringo. Tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio! <laughs> Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But... Let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Accio! Oh, you on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Accio! Guardian Leviosa! If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. Accio! Guardian Leviosa! Accio! Guardian Leviosa! You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, Rebellion. I just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the Blasting Curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. 
It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Revelio. Spiders can make such a mess. Defender. Diplomatic, isn't it? Confringo. Bombarda. Akio. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Akio! Nadia Leviosa! Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Akio! We're also dealing with rune symbols. That worked. Keep going. Here. 
Verlieren. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Rebellion. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Akio. Never end. Rebellion. Can bring them. Dead end. Rebellion. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Accio. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake. I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret. Especially from my uncle. Is that... ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. 
Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more... Rebellion! Terms. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. The pulse! I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. Accio! Repair all. I need to find a safe way across. Lumos. Accio. Lumos. Rebellion.
Rebellion. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsa. This room is taller than it looks. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She gives her ominous. Bombarda! Don't accept. Defender! Descender! Potato! Defender! Won't get away with that. Bombarda! Descender! Leviosa! Descender! Defender! All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldkopf's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry.
Boy! What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Repair her. Revelio. Revelio. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? <laughs>